this video we're going to talk about harvest estimates. Harvest estimates allows the grower to record an estimate of the amount of crop that will be delivered from each block for the harvest. As the growing season progresses, the estimate is updated. An estimate can be frozen to save a snapshot of that record for historical comparison. Harvest estimates enable the grower to estimate the amount of their crop that is shipped from each block to the crop processing facility. The harvest estimate is recorded at the harvest level. And the harvest workbench application is the only entry point for harvest and continuous harvest applications. From calculation, the estimate per area equals the harvest estimate or planted area. If both values are entered, the system uses the harvest estimate, and the system stores the harvest estimates in the grower harvest table, which is the F40G03. Each record okay, so we'll come inside of Enterprise 1, and we're going to look at the mass update estimates for Harvest Workbench Program, which is the P40G032. And we'll go ahead and get into that. This is the main page of it. Uh, it it's similar to the last program we were looking at. We'll go ahead and hit Find so that we can take a look at some harvests. After scrolling down on the screen here, we'll go ahead and select a record, and this box does not become active unless you have a record selected. You can see it's grayed out here, so I'll click on the record that we want to use, and then I can select and look here. In this example, we're going to take a look at the mass update harvest estimates. So in this example, we'll go ahead and increase this by 500, and we'll hit Calculate you can see that it's updated the new harvest estimate here in the field here. Now none of these numbers are actually saved as a solid record yet. The calculate button just goes ahead and shows us somewhat of a preview and it won't stick until we hit the save and close. So this would be for using vice achieved. Once saved and close selected, the harvest records are updated with the new harvest record. After modifying harvest estimates, you may wish to freeze and revise those harvest estimates using the same uh, technique discussed earlier. Hey, thanks for visiting the iLearn channel. We have lots of content up on the channel, so please feel free to explore. We are continuing to add new pieces of material that are useful to learn Enterprise One. We would love it if you could go ahead and like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you could, please comment below so we can know how we're doing and how we're helping you. If you want to know more about iLearn, please visit us at iLearnERP.com. We are a training company. We use the latest methods and technology to teach your company. So thanks for watching.